four officers were shot and two suspects were killed in a shootout after a standoff in Tennessee yesterday. Police attempted to arrest two men accused of multiple aggravated burglaries. The men barricaded themselves inside an apartment and after hours of failed negotiations, officers tell us that they broke in and the men started shooting. The four officers and a hostage are expected to be okay. Prosecutors from the special counsel's office have raised ethical questions about the attorney representing one of Donald Trump's co-defendants in the Mar-a-Lago documents criminal case. Prosecutors say the lawyer also represents three possible witnesses. This marks the second time prosecutors have raised questions about lawyers representing multiple people who've worked for the former president. A federal appeals court ruled to restrict the abortion medication mefepristone. That decision wipes away a lower court's ruling that would have taken it off the market completely. Mefepristone is one of the drugs used to induce what's called a medical abortion. The court found the federal government did not follow the proper process when it loosened regulations on it back in 2016. Yesterday's ruling is likely to be appealed back to the justices for a final decision. Three people have died in Connecticut and New York from a rare flesh-eating bacteria. Officials say two people in Connecticut became infected and died after swimming in two separate locations on Long Island. The bacteria lives in warm, salty, or brackish water and comes from the same family of bacteria that causes cholera. According to the CDC, the bacteria causes an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the country every year. As schools across the country reopen for the fall, the CDC says COVID-19 hospitalizations have been climbing since early July. Roughly 1% of hospital beds in U.S. inpatient and intensive care units are currently taken by COVID-19 patients. Health officials are advising people to be cautious and fully vaccinated because COVID-19 is here for good. The invasive yellow-legged hornet has been spotted in Georgia, and it's the first time the species has been found in the U.S. State and federal agriculture officials worked with the University of Georgia to identify the hornet. The department says the yellow-legged hornet could threaten honey production, native pollinators, and even impact a number of crops in the state. Construction on homes is speeding up. The Commerce Department says new construction jumped nearly 7% in July compared to the month before. The increase driven by a nearly 29% increase in housing in the West. The world now has about 3.5 million fewer millionaires. That is according to an annual global wealth report. The drop due to climbing interest rates and high inflation rates. The report says the top 1% of households still hold a staggering 44.5% of all global wealth. That's down just slightly from 45.6% in 2021. There's going to be a new way for you to experience the YouTube talk show Hot Ones at home. The creators of the show, which features interviews while guests eat increasingly spicy wings, have partnered with a pair of food companies to put out new spicy chicken strips. They're also working with Hot Pockets on what's promised to be the hottest Hot Pocket ever. And that's today's Nine at Nine. up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.